Hello everybody, it's Jilly. Um, one of my um, subscribers asked about post crossing and to explain it a little bit more. So here I am. I will try my best to um, explain it as easy as I can. Uh, I've done some notes. Here we go. So I'm going to just go from those notes and see how we get on. I'm a bit like a squirrel. My attention span flies out the window sometimes. So I might ramble on a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. So what is post crossing? The goal of this project is to allow anyone to send and receive postcards all over the world. The di idea is simple. For each postcard you send, you will receive one back from a random cr post crosser from somewhere in the world. And why? Simply c because, like its founder, there are lots of people who like to receive real mail. Receiving postcards from different places in the world, many of which are, you've probably never heard of, can turn your mailbox into a box of surprises. And who wouldn't like that? That's very true, isn't it? Let's face it. All we get in the mail is either some something from Amazon, eBay, or it's a bill. So basically, how does it work? You write your postcard, you post it, the person um, receives it, and they register your card. Once that card is registered, you will then receive a postcard, okay? So if you go on to www.postcrossing.com, it's very easy to register. I can't go through the process because I'm already registered. Um, but it's very, very easy how to do it. Okay, so there we go. So what I've done is I've just written a few little um, notes down to explain post crossing. So firstly, what is it? Like I've just explained, it's all about um, reaching out to different people all over the world, sending them a postcard and receiving one back. Okay. So, first of all, you need to register. So you need to think of a name that you like and a password. So you'll go through that process, um, your email and all the rest of it, and you'll be sent an email to register, to click on so they know you're a real person and you go through all that. There will be, so you need a nice name or an interesting name, whatever you want. And then in, in the bio, you introduce yourself. So you don't have to say your full name, just put, hi, my name is Julie, Bob, Rita, whatever. Um, talk about yourself, maybe where you're from, what country you live in. I live in the northeast of England, so I, I mentioned that. Um, what hobbies that you like, so you might like walking, swimming, post crossing, stamps, cycling, holiday, travel, whatever it is, pop it in your intro. Um, talk about your country, maybe what it's famous for, what your area is famous for, and also say what postcards you like the most so you can't demand a postcard you can't say I only want the Eiffel Tower for instance because the person reading about you may not have the Eiffel Tower okay so you can't do that it's a bit rude as well to demand so once you're up and running and you've um, written about yourself uh, then you send a postcard so what happens is I'll just go to the top here um, you send a post, it says send a postcard. So I've only got one left. You click that and then you request an address. I'm not going to do that because you can see my monitor. I don't want to share somebody's address. So then you'll get somebody's profile. So here's mine, okay? But on the profile, you will see their address. You can't see my address on this, okay? And I'll, I'll tell you about myself. I live in the northeast of England, what I enjoy, uh, YouTube, all sorts of things. I've written everything I enjoy doing on there. I explore in. I like um, Holy Island, York, Lincoln, Durham, my cats, music. So you just, so you, what you'll do is you'll read about that person on there. Okay. Now at the bottom, I've put postcards. 
that I like. Places, scenery, animals, food, art, Disney. I have received a blue cat postcard. I would be thrilled if I received another one. So I'm not saying send me a blue cat. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I would be th thrilled. And I also like the seasonal postcards, Christmas, Easter, Valentine's, Halloween, you know, so on. I also say that I do enjoy receiving stickers and washi tape on my postcard. That's fine. I'm not demanding it. I'm just letting the person know because the person reading my profile there may think, oh, great, I, look, I enjoy doing that. Okay, and then they will go to their stash of postcards and start flicking through to find something I will like. It's as simple as that. So what you would then do, you would get your postcard. I'll just choose one of these. Meal days are good days. And what you would do on there is you would add your stamps in the corner. You would add airmail stamp. I get these, um, I'm in the UK, so we get these free from the post office. You can buy them off Etsy and things like that that are a little different or um, Paper Sisters do them and so does Caroline's site, um, paperandpostcrosser.com. So I got these from the Paper Sisters, so I would put one there as well. Okay, let's just turn my camera this way a bit. So I would pop that there, stamps. I even have some of these from the Paper Sisters. Thank you for delivering this postcard. You don't need them, that's just me being fancy. I just like to do it. So first of all, stamps, airmail, address. You must put the code in. Um, so it could be, um, you know, whatever country you are, so GB, and then it'll be a num some, some numbers. You must put that on because that's how the other person registers your card. Okay. So you would write your little message, put stickers on if you want, wash your tape, whatever you like. All right, so that's how you do it. You must make sure that your stamps will cover the cost to be sent if it's abroad. So for me, it costs £1.70 and in this country, two first class stamps is £1.70. So I would pop two first class stamps if I didn't have the £1.70 international stamp. I do prefer to send the... Um, the monthly stamps that uh, Royal Mail bring out. So I got these ones for now, Catwoman and the Riddler. So I'm quite pleased. And a lot of people do enjoy receiving the stamps as much as they re enjoy receiving the postcard. Okay. It's very important that you read the bio of the person. And the reason behind that is don't just randomly choose a card and go, yeah, that'll be fine, that'll do. It won't do, it won't do at all. Um, some people have phobias and they'll put that in their, um, in their bio, so they may like, not like spiders, butterflies, birds, anything like that, snakes, a lot of people are frightened of them. So you wouldn't want to just pull a postcard out and send somebody's worst nightmare to them in the post. It's not very nice. So please take the time to read the bio. Okay. So and that's, that's what happens, so off it goes. Say it goes to America, it might take a week. The person will get it on, you know, in their mailbox, on the doormat, whatever. They'll turn it over, lovely message, stamps, washi tape, stickers, if that's what you're into. They'll look at the code at the top, GB, if it's from this country, with the code. They then will go to um, post crossing. Let me show you on my messy desk okay and up here it says register so this box comes up so you will put the put it in so if it was GB put GB and then it's a number it's so many numbers so say so that's it I always always write in this box a little thank you to the person who sent me it I always appreciate them and then you register it. You can have a re receive a copy of your message as well if you wanted to. Okay. So that's how you do it. But you must register the card. Also, the don'ts. Please don't demand. Nobody likes somebody to demand. You know, 
I only want Blue Cat, I only want The Simpsons, I only want whatever it is, okay? You don't do that, it's very rude. Also, you never ever share another postcross's address. So you might be talking over coffee one morning and say, oh, I've sent a lovely postcard to a lady who likes squirrels. And your friend might say, oh, give me her address, I'll send her one, I've got some postcards. No, 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 you don't do that. If that person wants to send a postcard, they need to register, okay? Right, so, where was I up to? So yes, never ever share somebody's address. It's, it's just, you just don't do that. If somebody reaches out to you and wants to do a direct swap, okay, you'll do that. You'll send each other, uh, you'll get an email and you can respond through the email. Please um, read the person's bio and don't forget to send them a card. Be kind, don't wait for a postcard and then not send one back. Somebody spent money on an international stamp. They've took time to read about you. They've taken the time to um, go to the post office, post it, all the rest of it. So send one at the same time they're sending one. Don't wait till you get one and go, don't like it, I'm not sending one because that's just rude. <laughs> so, and always, always remember to register your postcard. Um, I hope that's explained post crossing the best I can. All I can say, it's great fun. You learn about all sorts of different countries, places, different people. Different people tell you all sorts about their lives, what they do for a job, how many cats they've got, dogs, things like that. And I enjoy that. So I hope you enjoy it too. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye.